Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cher and we got some back-to-back -back videos here because all the things came in while I was out on vacation and I still have my St. Patty's Day makeup going on, getting ready, getting in the mood here. It is coming up in a few days. So anyway, today, as promised, if you saw my last video about Scentbird, I promised you guys that I was going to be bringing you the new Kylie fragrance, and it is here already. So, if you want to check out the new fragrance from Kylie Jenner, this is the Cosmic Perfume, her very first. Stick around, and we're going to talk about it. All right, guys. So, I have never done Kylie before. Can you believe it? Um, I've also only recently started getting into perfume. So everything's very new for me, but we're going to check it all out. I'm really excited. So a couple of things I did get in this, I, I'm not going to call it a haul because I only got two things. One was the perfume. I also got her recent lip butter. Um, I was very, very curious. So I threw it on in the cart and this is from Kylie Skin, the Kylie Skin line. And I think it is pretty popular too and a fairly new thing new release. So I thought, well, let's knock them out together. Um, so this was my little Kylie haul for my very first one, and I have not even opened them yet. So we're going to start with the perfume. Let's see what this is all about. Now, ooh, how does it look? So it's called Cosmic. Very neat, like cool little perfume packaging. The design, it it lives up to the name, I think. Cosmic. It definitely looks cosmic. And it looks very, like, clear, doesn't it? So I love that design. Really neat. I haven't opened it to smell it yet. I'm going to let you know about the notes on it and a little bit more about it first before we start giving my review on it. This is a first impressions for me. So I haven't like worn it on to give you like a wear test and all of that. And also keep in mind that I'm very new to fragrance. I have never been a perfume person. And recently I've kind of been transformed into one. And so I'm starting to slowly try out perfumes now. <laughs> so um, this is very new for me. So excuse me if I'm not quite a connoisseur yet. According to Kylie, this is her dream scent and signature. And so, um, something she has put together and that's kind of the notes that she left on this fragrance. And so the fragrance family is ambery floral. So I have noticed that I am definitely a very like floral and fruity girl. Um, there's only certain perfumes that I do like, and I think that's why I was not a perfume person before, is I was just trying the wrong ones. So my scents are the florals and fruities. So I was hoping this had enough of both of those that I would be very interested in it. And it's described as a sweet and warm floral that will be good for both day and night. So some of the notes in it, I'll read to you. The opening notes include star jasmine and blood orange. I knew this was going to be more on the orange as the fruity. Um, heart notes. I don't know what heart notes mean. Do you guys? Sorry, again, not a perfume person yet. <laughs> so those include golden amber accord and red peony accord. And then the base notes are vanilla musk accord and cedar wood. So lovely. A little more, just so you guys know, this is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and considered clean. So I love that because, you know, if you're somebody who is prone to allergies and, you know, perfumes really bother you too, like they kind of, some of them really do bother me, then going with a clean brand of perfume is so much better. And so I love that. And these are all things I really look for in brands. So I love that these are meet all of those check marks because fragrance can really, really, really affect you. You know, if it's not clean, you know, it's one of those things in the, you know, when you're talking about like toxins in your beauty products, fragrance is a huge one. So I love that it's clean. So let's give it a shot. See how this one smells. I am one of those, like I said, I cannot tolerate heavy perfumes. So I'm kind of a good tester of like how mild things are. All right, I'm going to spray on my wrist first. Oh my goodness. 
first sniff I loved. Oh yeah. Okay. This is going to be another one of those I love. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let me let it air for a moment and just see how strong it's going to be. Yeah, I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. I can tell. Ooh, wow. Now I'm one of those that I only do like one, maybe two at the most, but I usually only pump one. I like to do them kind of on my wrists, let it flow through the blood. I think those who say watch out for toxins actually recommend against putting it directly on your wrists going into the bloodstream. Um, and they talk about spray it kind of spray it into the air and walk into it. I'm not doing that for my sniff test though. So Mm, yeah. If I had to rank it behind the favorites that I had so far, I still think it might be a little behind the, um, my favorites were the Victor and Roth Flower Bomb and, which was, uh, Tiger Lily Flower Bomb and the Jean-Paul Gaultier Divine. Those were two of my absolute, those are my two favorites of all so far that I've tried. This one, it might not be like right at the top of that, but it's a close, close third probably. I think I still rank it maybe a little above the Dime Beauty that I just tried because that Dime Beauty was a specific scent of like lime and coconut. This one is very much that floral fruity that I just really love. So yeah, I like it a lot. Um... It's not overpoweringly strong, but it's maybe a little stronger than those other two favorites of mine. I don't, I would say it's in the middle of gentleness, but yeah, I can definitely smell like the floral in it. It does not have that powdery old lady smell that I think I had always equated with perfumes in the past. Doesn't have that. It's more on that sweet side that I really like. But I think it's maybe not as sweet. It's like I'm smelling the warm in it, like maybe the cedar wood. Like there's just a hint of warmth, but it's, you know, sweet too. So, yes, I think I'm going to like it. I'm so glad I ended up liking it. Um, the price on this one, you know, there's different sizes. I think this might just be the 30 milliliter. Let me look. Yeah, this is the 30 milliliter which I think was the smallest. And so this was $48 US dollars. You can go up to 100 milliliters, which was 78 to give you a price range. So it's not like super high end, you know, at the highest, there's some very luxury perfumes out there that are like way up there, but still a nice range here. So yeah, I think I'm going to really like it. So awesome. I'm very excited. So happy that that worked out for me. That was a gamble, being new to this perfume thing. Now let's check out the lip butter. Now I do already have on lipstick. Um, so let's talk a little bit about it. This is great for moisture barrier complex, cloudberry seed oil, jojoba seed oil, shea butter. Um, just to let you know, like, you know, some of the ingredients made to hydrate, soften and protect. A rich buttery balm that helps hydrate and soften dry parched lips for a smooth supple pout. And if you've been around here, you'll know that I've been really huge on lip balms and lip oils. I'm really into them. So I just couldn't resist trying it. And this one was $20 to give you a feel for it. So, and another, like, I think it's a fairly new drop also. And this has a really cool, check out the design on here. Isn't that neat? So... Kind of so y'all can see the texture before I apply it to my lips. Feels good. It feels really, it smells like a shea butter, has that shea butter smell to it. And interesting like capsule. I do like when it has these kind of applicators because they don't make a big mess. You don't have to stick your fingers in them. Smells nice. Okay, I'm going to try to like wipe this off my lips real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I've got my lips off. Let's give it a shot here. 
Mm. Yeah. Oh. I don't feel like it shows off like too many fine lines and wrinkles. Um, supposed to be plumping, by the way. I don't feel any stinging, which is wonderful. Do you feel like it's plumping my lips? I feel like it is a little bit, although I got a little messy around the edges. And it's definitely really soft, really hydrating, and I love the smell and taste. It's an amazing smell. It's like, I mean, it's like that shea butter coming through, but like the vanilla, oh, the flavor is vanilla caramel. And that's what I'm smelling. You taste it slightly, but it, it's mostly the smell. Wonderful. Now, to compare it to say the Summer Fridays, I'm not gonna say it's quite as good as the Summer Fridays as far as that glass, amazing finish, but it is really nice. It's soft, nourishing. It is much more like a lip butter, like it describes, than a lip oil. So it is true to form. And yeah, it's more like butter than it is like a balm or a, I mean, I guess that's technically like a balm, right? But it doesn't have like a balmy feel and it doesn't have an oil feel. It does have more of like butter going on the lips. Not too greasy, but like a little greasy maybe, but like like greasy oily but not like too much you know still very softening so yeah very nice so this was priced at twenty dollars would i pay that much again for it i'm big on lip oils and lip balms so i don't know i mean maybe i wouldn't pay the forty dollars that i did when i got price gouged for the summer fridays though <laughs> So it's very nice. So yeah, I'm glad I got to be fairly early in trying it. So have you guys tried this one out? Let me know. Also, I was going to show you that my little order came with a bunch of little Kylie stickers. I never know what to do with these, but it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> so yeah. So that's everything today, guys. Just wanted to kind of give you my thoughts and share my first Kylie order and one of my first perfume orders here. So unlike me. So yeah, um, I am going to really like this perfume and the lip butter. So it was a good purchase, I think. So anyway, that wraps it up. Make sure you stick around because um, like I said, if you love fragrances, I'm getting into it now and I did sign up for Scent Bird. So um, once a month, they do bring different subscription boxes in addition to the ones that I get in PR, like I choose one for the month. So I may not bring a scent bird every month, but it will be one I probably pick fairly often. Um, and so with that one, they give you a different fragrance each month to try out. And so I'm kind of getting into bringing fragrances here and so, and trying different ones. And again, I loved this one. So let me know if it's on your list to try and make sure you stick around and subscribe so you won't miss more of this in the future. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Bye.